Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today's art lesson is on an exploding volcano. And this particular volcano that I'm going to show you is the Ar Arenal Arenal volcano in La, La Fortuna, Costa Rica. And it's actually a little over a mile high. It's 5,437 feet and it first started erupting in 1968 and the last time it exploded was in 2010. And scientists think that this volcano, and I'll show you a picture of it right here, scientists think that this volcano is, let's see if I can get a better, there, uh, this volcano is actually sleeping in 2010. Um, that's the last time it the lava flowed from it. And this image is from a photograph that my sister took when she visited a resort that was near this volcano. And this is the Arenal, Arenal volcano in Costa Rica. And so that's what the lesson is on today. Oh, I lost it. And you can see the shape of that mountain let me get it back up here there we are and we're going to be creating this lava flow coming down right here and we're going to be using an exciting technique with melted crayon and so this is something like what yours will look like today but that's what we're going to practice and learn about this new technique of melted crayons and just have some fun making this volcano the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take, and this is um, 9 by 12 paper. So I'm taking a 9 by 12 piece of paper, and I'm going to use a 9 by 12 piece of black construction paper as well. And what I did was I cut two diagonal lines off the edges of my construction paper, and then I cut a little bit off the top of this volcano. Now, some volcanoes, depending on what happened in the past and sometimes millions of years ago like for example the one I went to in um, New Mexico millions of years ago the whole thing blew off the whole top of this blew off and so what it left was this giant huge crater here and then the sides partial sides of the mountain it still took us several hours to climb up the volcano when we went up to just look over the edge of it because these are quite high this one is actually 5,437 feet high. So that's really high. It's uh, it's close to, it's a little over a mile high. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? But this is when it was active. It was active in 1968 to 2010. And so you could just go there and my sister stayed at a little hotel near the volcano. And at night, that's when she snapped that picture. That must've been really exciting. And then they also went into the hot springs. And today you can go into the hot springs that are around this volcano. But anyways, let's make our art. What we're going to do is you take your construction paper and you do a diagonal line and another random diagonal line and top it off. Now you could also just draw your volcano if that's what you'd like. You do your top, diagonal down to the edge, diagonal down to the edge. And then you can paint this in, color it in with marker, uh, however you want to decorate it. But this is a fast, quick, easy way. And we're just going to apply some glue on the back like this. And then we're ready to go. And this is the fun technique I wanted you to learn about. This is taking melted crayon. Oh, actually, before we glue it down, this is what I like to do. I like to use a scrap paper because we I, it overflows. So before you glue it down, sorry I made that mistake. Before you glue it down, you take a scrap piece of paper like this, and we're going to start melting our crayon. So I take, and what I do is I take melted or, or pieces of crayon, and I put them in a plastic baggie, and then I tap them with a hammer. So I'm taking full crayons, plastic baggie, tapping it with a hammer. I find that the little pieces melt faster. You could also um, use a big piece like this to control it. And what you do is you heat your paper first. And this is a heat embossing tool or a heat gun. 
So I heat my paper a little bit first because when I first put the crayon down, it's gonna wanna blow away because of the pressure on this heat gun. So I put the crayon down first and I do it directly, straight up like a soldier. If I do it sideways, it will definitely, you can see that it blew away. That's why it's good to heat that paper first, start at least one of them. And I'm gonna make this flow up a little because I want it to hit, I want it to be up a little. That's just where it landed. Ouch. You gotta be careful. And so I'm heating this first. And I want it to just melt the top area. And then I'll make it flow down. Oops. And you can manipulate this lava flow by tipping your paper up. So if I turn my paper up, heat it, tipping it, it'll make it flow because of gravity. Look at it flowing. It's flowing down. So with a little bit of an incline, it flows down the mountain. And I'm actually kind of using the heat to blow. So the heat gun is blowing the crayon down the mountain to create that lava look. You can also hold your crayon like this. That's why I have a longer piece to heat an area. And notice my fingers aren't in the direction of the, of the, the heat coming out of the gun. It's just heating the tip. And once you heat a little puddle, you can kind of control it the way you want it. And then put your little pieces in. And I like a variety of color. Once you have a spot that is started, then the crayons won't blow away. And then I'm just blowing it down the mountain. And I, I wanna leave some chunks of crayon for texture. Because you know how the molten rock and lava will come out and blow out of that volcano? So that's why I wanted to leave some of this chunks showing partially melted. Maybe that's where the lava hit or the rock hit. And of course, when lava dries, do you know what color it turns? Black. Yes, it's black. And it's very airy. When I picked up some pieces from New Mexico climbing up that volcano, it's, it's like, it has lots of pockets and air holes in it. And I'm just tipping the, the crayon the way I want it to melt and flow down the mountain. When it's at that angle, you can see how it's just dripping down. And the gun is blowing it in the direction. And you're controlling it. And you can have this blow and flow any way you want. So when you get your desired amount of lava, you can stop and then it only takes a few seconds to dry and that's when you can glue it. You see how I made a mistake? So after you have your lava coming down, that way you get a nice clean edge. If you did it on this paper, see how it's kind of messy? Sometimes you might want some explosion up here on this white paper. If you want a little explosion, look, you can almost do this when it's still partially wet. Get a little bit of this and then maybe heat that. Heat that up a little bit. There, there's some of my explosion in my sky. And I'll drip it back down. You can even hand draw some explosion with, oh, and I wanna do this too, cause I just smushed this, so I'm gonna reheat this. See how I smush that? I want it to be a nice flow here. You can even drip it. Look at that, drip it onto the paper create some explosion drips. Shake it. There. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's totally a cool explosion right there. So that little shake worked out nice. All right. So now take your glue stick or glue after this dries. You want to give it a few minutes. Place your volcano here and on your paper, the way you like. 
And then this volcano has some green hillsides. So around it, and at one time, this was actually, before 1968, this volcano was actually covered with forest and jungle. And then after 1968, there was a real, real huge, powerful explosion. It actually wiped out some villages, um, which was a very sad time because a lot of people lost their lives. This now is just covered uh, just with rock, just with volcanic residue. But at the base of this has some green. And if you just tear some paper and glue down torn paper at the base, this just gives a little bit of the, of the jungle coming through at the bottom. And I just randomly tear, see? And then this just shows the base of the jungle, the base of the volcano here, where the jungle is starting to come back up. And it creates a nice frame for it. And then you can trim off, once that's done, you can trim off these edges here. See where my papers come over? And then you have your cool explosion, your volcano explosion with a crayon technique. And again, this is a uh, an embossing tool or it's a heat gun and they're under $20. This was about 18 at your craft store, uh, local craft store. You could possibly use a, a hair dryer, but you need to set it on its hot setting. And then remember, this has high pressure with a hair dryer. So it's gonna blow those crayon pieces. So that's why you have to heat that paper. That's real important. And I hope you have fun creating your crayon explosion volcano. <laughs>